Hi everyone, today we're back snow plowing. This morning, we're waking up to over 6 inches of snow here. We got a little bit more than what was expected, but we're going to be out all day plowing snow. Today guys, I do have a half dozen crews helping out here, so hopefully we'll be done a little bit sooner. And today, we're also going to be using the new work truck here. This is a 2020 Ram 3500. It's a Cummins Dually. We have a western wide out on the front here. This is going to be a big 10 foot plow. We're going to move a lot of snow. But we also have a solid spreader in the back here and I did get a text that like 10-15 minutes ago asking if I had any extra salt because I need to salt one of the parking lots here. So why don't we hop in the truck here get to work. Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. Before we head on out plowing for the day here, I just want to clear out my driveway here. That way if anyone in the family needs to leave, uh, they can easily do so without getting stuck here. But guys, hopefully this is one of the last snowfalls of the year because we have just gotten so much snow. We've uh, been super busy and I definitely want to have a few weeks here to really get ready to go for the upcoming season here of landscaping. But look at this truck guys. I mean, this is the perfect truck here. We're mainly going to be doing big commercial lots today, and this truck is perfect for it. We're coming up on the first property here that we need to do here, so I really want the uh, western plow to be fully extended since this is a pretty big uh, parking lot here. This is a local laundry mat. We actually have to go to another one here in town as well uh, sometime today. It's the same owners that actually own both of these here, but you guys can see this truck is sweet. I've been looking for this truck. I've been uh, hoping it got released, and we finally have it here in Farm Sim. Alright, I think we're all set here. Now this property does not do salt here. Only the really big companies actually have us do salt here because it is kind of expensive and uh, they really do not want to spend the money if they don't have to here. But we actually have to go on over here to local Casey's. Uh, one of the crews already plowed it out here. I think a two person crew came out here. So I'm just going to get the salt spreader on here. Put some salt down that way it helps on out. Especially the local Casey's here. They are super busy. All right, we got the salt spreader on. We'll just slowly drive around here. This spreads it about 20 feet wide. So one or two times around this uh, parking lot, and that's all we really need. And the salt is just going to help the snow melt faster, especially uh, people uh, getting gas or diesel here. You don't want them slipping and falling, and the salt is really going to come in pretty handy here. Awesome. We'll get that turned off. Let's get on to a few more driveways. It looks like the town plows have not been out yet here. Hopefully they come along soon. I have four wheel drive on right now. I am slipping and sliding a little bit here. It is quite cold at right around 14 degrees here. But hopefully guys, like I mentioned, spring is around the corner and we don't get any more snow than this. Just too much snow this year. All right, guys, let's get the blade dropped here. And this is a little bit of a different parking lot, but it's the other laundromat in town. I thought since we're driving by, we might as well do. But look at the strobe lights, guys. Uh, that is so cool having the reflection on the building there. That is, is pretty neat. It's also good we're here in the early morning here. It's only about 7.30, and uh, I don't think they open just yet here. It's really helpful not having too many cars, if any cars in the parking lot, especially when you're trying to move a lot of snow. And we're on to the next one here. We actually have to head on over to a big, big retail store 
and uh, we are going to be plowing that out here. But before we do that, I do just want to plow this office building here. Hopefully, uh, they don't uh, get to the office just yet here. That way, I could get it plowed out here. It's a little tricky how we have to plow the parking lot just with how the entrances are here. But we'll be able to do this and uh, just push a lot of snow here. For snow plowing, I much prefer a single cap here. It's a much shorter wheelbase here and the visibility is a bit better here. Having a salter makes it a little bit trickier, but uh, like I mentioned, a shorter wheelbase and just an overall shorter truck really helps us on out. And I think that is a big advantage to a truck like this here. And I just kind of like it quite a bit here. But we're all set to go here. Wow, that was awesome. I actually have a, a shoveling crew going to each property, shoveling out each doorway, things like that. That way, uh, most of the guys can just stay in the truck and uh, continue pushing snow. Guys, this is a parking lot we have to get cleared here, but luckily we actually have a machine on site here. Some of these bigger ones, we do end up leaving a skid steer here. Just helps us out. We're going to be using the all new Arctic a sectional snow pusher here. Super excited to be using this here. And big shout out goes out to Machine Modding over on Facebook for that. And we're going to be using the Takachi skid steer. Let's get this thing warmed up for a few minutes here and we'll get right to pushing some snow. And this guys, I believe this is like a 10 foot uh, snow pusher. This thing is going to move a lot, a lot of snow in one pass. With an arctic plow like this guys, each individual section of the plow ends up floating and it really helps us have a nice uh, clean scrape here. We are spinning our tracks just a little bit. There's just that much snow here, but skid steers are actually quite popular uh, for snow plowing here and almost all of ours are out at different properties here. But look at the big snow piles we're making. I think we can make a small mountain with the amount of snow we're going to be moving here today. For the skid steers, guys, we actually have snow tracks on them here. That allows us to get a lot of traction and have no problem pushing snow here. Now, the other thing, guys, is that I really just try to always keep moving here. One way or another, I want to be pushing snow, especially when we're driving back and forth here. But you guys can see these uh, big uh, snow pushers like this move a lot of snow in a short amount of time, which is super exciting for us. We're able to get a lot of work done and you guys can see we have about another half of the parking lot left here. I am noticing the engine is bogging down a little bit here. We get a little bit more spin here with the track and we do have a little bit of snow coming up over the top here. That's just how much snow we're moving. You guys can see we're slipping just a little bit here. Just need to go just past the door. Perfect. I mean, this thing, guys, uh, this combination, it moves a lot of snow here. Now, I don't really prefer the wheeled skid loaders for snow removal. If so, I always put a, a set of kind of street tires on them and remove the dirt tires because those really are not the best here. But you guys can see, wow, look at how much snow we're making uh, these big piles. After this parking lot, I'm going to get back to plowing with the uh, Cummins work truck here. I think that's all we have to do here. We don't have to put any salt down. And yeah, look at that, guys. We finally got it all cleared here. So I'm going to use the truck for the entrances uh, just because it's a little bit narrower here. But guys, I'm running low on camera battery. It's already been a long morning and I have several more hours worth of plowing to do. So until the next one, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more.